um, today we are going to look at a bit of an old favourite. Um, we're going to look at working with wax, people. Now, working with wax is an interesting one. Um, back in the day, when I trained, when I learned, wax was used a lot in theatres, uh, in some movies, um, photography, etc. was the desired medium. However, um, wax is not really used anymore. Wax is now a training tool. Uh, colleges still use it. I'm a big believer in using um, in training tools and wax is still very much used as a training tool. But I must give you some words of warning, words of wisdom about wax. Now, wax is not particularly pliable. It does break. Uh, heat won't like wax. Wax and heat do not get on together and they do tend to go against each other. So wax will be broken down by heat. The moment you put it in a body, the body will emit heat. It's a source of radiation and it will start breaking down. So just wear the warning when we are working with wax. It is a training tool. We don't really use it in the field anymore. However, if you are on a budget and you want to create some effects at home and learn how to sculpt and you've only got wax, wax is a really good thing. Um, we're also going to work with latex today. So this is the next thing is creating cuts with wax and latex, okay? So wax and latex. So our products today are going to be the following. We shall work with all from Treasure House, of course, as always, all from Treasure House. We are working on Ben Nye nose and scar wax. Now, wax is really good. Um, drag performers, you still we still use it all the time to cover eyebrows, okay? So please be aware you can still use it um, very much so as a medium to do this. You can also use soap. I don't know if you know that, but you can use soap. Uh, however, I like the wax finish. I do like the wax finish. Um, Meron have a, a lovely wax. Um, and Ben Nye have a lovely wax. Today we're working with Ben Nye's lovely wax. Okay, so there we are. Right. Well, let's make sure that my forehead is clear because we're going to do there and I'm going to go there as well. So quick spray. Quick spray. There we are. Always I'm very low on followers today. Very low on followers. I don't think anyone wanted to watch the video today, but that's all right. We're going to do it anyway because I'm... I love doing it. So, what are we doing? A bit of wax. Now, because my tools are not with me, I'm going to have to improvise, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to improvise. So, um, we're going to use wax and latex to create my cut. We're going to go across here. And we are watching lovely well I own I as long as one person's enjoying it then that's the main thing now as you can see this is a lovely flesh color yeah lovely flesh color you can really be quite malleable with it okay you can really learn to work with it and move it around I'm gonna go on my little mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing if you don't mind because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, hello, Seventa Makeup Academy has just joined. Now, Seventa Makeup Academy, uh, I was a bit late, so I'm so sorry. So today we were saying that we're gonna work with wax and latex. Now, wax is not really a tool we use in the industry, except as training. Level threes, level twos, the colleges will still use wax. Um, I'm a big believer we use it for training. Um, however, it has got its limitations. It's not particularly pliable, it does break. Um, and you've got but, but, but. Um, if you learn how to work with wax, you will be a much better sculptor. So, I hope you can all see me. I've got my mirror in front of me as well. There we are. God, she's all tech today. Right, there we go. So, we're going to start with putting an area. I'm going to do a cut across the forehead. Okay, so this is my wax first layer. Now, how much do I want of this? I want to do this. Now, because I don't have any of my spatulas with me, because my spatulas, can you believe it, are of course at the studio. 
Uh, I'm going to be using a spoon. <laughs> but there you go. Or my finger. I think I'll use my finger. You can also use this little wooden spatula, so it's quite useful. I've got too much, so I'm going to take half of it off because I don't want um, as much as this. Now, as you can see, wax does cause its limitations because it just doesn't move as well as it should. So what we now need to do is to shave off what we don't want. In, I, you normally would use a metal spatula, I'm using a sort of butter knife, you know, non-blunted. That's an inter interesting way of doing it. So this is going to form the basis of my cut. As I said, we're going old school today. We are going back to wax and latex, the basics of makeup. Literally, these are their basics. These are the things I learned many, many years ago when Queen Victoria was still in power. So there we go. My little wax tool, so I can start taking away what, what I don't want. Now, I'm a big believer in you don't want extra product around the place sloshing about, okay? You want to get rid of it. Right, so that's the basis of my cut, which is going to come in a minute, okay? So, what we're going to do next, we're going to take a little brush. I'm going to take a little brush. Which brush shall I take? Da, 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 da. Now, I am for this, Juan has just joined. Hello, Juan. For this, I am using, because um, I don't want to mess the brush up, and normally you would use like a lip brush or something, uh, an old lip brush. I'm using um, an, one of my old Krylan brushes, which is specifically for this. And you basically want to wipe the edges of the wax off with alcohol. And what this does, it will take away any excess wax that you don't want in, you see. You see how it breaks it down? Yeah? It really does break it down. Um, now I recommend for this you use an old brush. That you don't mind getting ruined because it might get full of wax particles. And you don't want to create one of your nice brushes. Yeah, you don't want to mess up one of your nice brushes. Well, you might do, but... Dab it down. So you can also use it to smooth the edges. Very gently. Mm 
really work those edges. Bear with me one second. Do you think all MUAs should have a basic SFX? One second, I'll answer that in a second. That was my that was my husband getting his safety gloves to go shopping. Uh, do I think uh, all MUAs should have a basic knowledge of SFX? I do. And uh, not all MUAs want to be special effects artists, but I think it's very important to have a basic knowledge. Very important. Yeah. Um, because you don't know what you're going to be throwing. Now, normally, um, normally in, as I said, we're going old school today. We're going back to wax and latex. My reason for this is I really want you to understand what working with this products is like, How, what it was like to just work with wax and latex. Because if you can do this, you will find later on working with, you know, working with silicon, absolutely fine. But in this case, wax and latex, we're really going old school today. Old school, old school special effects, loving a bit of old school. And really keep cleaning the area. I really want those edges really clean, okay? Really clean edges. Right. That's a good start. So, now we have our cut, well the base, we have the bottom of the cut. Now the big, the big, I guess, mistake that most artists do is that they get, um, so I'm just looking for the right tool, which tool do I want, actually this will do. They get um, the material and they go straight all the way down to the skin and they just open it up. Now, when you open a cut, you still have something underneath, okay? So you really must be careful. And you're going to open it. But I really want you to think about what's underneath. Really think about, if you were to slice your forehead open, what are you going to find underneath? Yeah? There is still product, there is still, because you've got the epidermis, the dermis, the subcutaneous layer. You've got to think about this, you've got to think about what's underneath. This is not the easiest to do by yourself, but there we go. We could, we're doing it. We do, we are doing it because we're having a fabulous time. So. I am making an open wood indeed, but I'm going old school. We are going back to wax and latex because I want to teach people how to work the old school way. Um, tomorrow we'll be talking about silicon, but today it's old school people. I want to do old school. I trained, let's just say 20 plus years ago, and this is how I trained. Thank you, Freddy. Freddy, fabulous videographer and photographer, worked on a lot of campaigns with Johnny Hooley, Stylist and myself. Very fabulous. Can you see that I've still got stuff inside? Okay, very important. Um, Freddie, was useful makeup 
many, many years ago. It's not really used anymore apart from a training tool. But it can be used if you know what you're doing. This is when your wax tools become very useful. Treasure House, hello Treasure House. We're going old school today, Treasure House. We're going back to basics. Wax and latex. Where's my latex? There we go. Um, what would you say the benefit of working with a model is when training? Okay, well, um, the, the difference when you, when you apply makeup to yourselves. Oh, we love... Treasure House, going back to basics is what it's all about. If you can do the basics the old fashioned way, you will find working with silicon, gelatin, etc. much easier. So I insist that all my artists at the beginning should be able to do uh, the basics. Um, and to answer um, Serventa's question, working with a model gives you an idea of what will happen in, in the real industry. Um, the industry is not about working on yourself. The industry is not about Instagram. YouTube makeup artists. The industry is about working with people. So working, training with a model is in, in, invaluable as far as I'm concerned. Oh, here we go. We just keep opening that wound very gently so I don't go all the way down to the skin. Because I really want to see... Absolutely. Tre That's what I said at the beginning of the video, Treasure Makeup. Wax is a really good tool at the beginning to just get you practicing. It's inexpensive. It's very malleable. As you know, we get it in many different colours. And we can really... I mean, I haven't... I, 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 to, I'll be honest with you, I haven't touched my wax in a very long time. But for this, it's great because it really gets you practicing in an inexpensive way. So any of you worried about cost... Oh. And let's be honest, you know, we all have to watch the pennies at the moment, especially if you're not working. Um, sorry, I've just spilled alcohol everywhere. Um, wax is a really good tool. As I said, we've got it in Meron. Um, we've got it in Ben Nye. Um, Treasure Makeup, can you just post a link of the Meron wax if you can? Um, so that's the Meron wax as well as the Ben Nye. So this is the Ben Nye. And if you can post the link of the Meron wax. Um, and then we, I still use a little bit of wax work when we do the courses at Seventa Makeup Academy. I still use a tiny bit of wax because I believe it's important for people to learn how to work with it. And it's a really good way to just learn how to sculpt. So when you do it, when you do an edge for a piece, imagine normally you'd have a step going up. No, what? No, you don't want a step. You want a nice slope. So essentially, the piece, the 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 appliance slides into the skin and you don't see an edge. We want to see that, not that. Okay, no steps, a nice slide. You see, it just slides in. Um, if you're going to do an, if you're doing an open wound, make sure the the wound has a beginning and an end. It must close. Okay, open wounds 
skin doesn't just flap about, it has got an entry and an exit point. So make sure you do have an entry and an exit. Right, so that's the forehead. Now we should do a little bit on the nose. So just really get into that nose area. As you can see, uh, there's not a lot of product there, okay? I'm not using masses of product, just a little bit of product. Use my alcohol to thin down the wax and break it down. And this is when I've just got to be a bit more detailed. There you go. There's my little injury. So very important to going back to basics and really, I'm sorry if I'm not talking much, I just need to get this done and then I can talk. Right. So as you see, two little injuries. One, the forehead. And one on the nose, okay? Going back to basics, very fabulously going back to basics. Love a bit of basics. Um, So now we move on to our Meron wax. Sorry, Meron latex, I beg your pardon, Meron latex. With my ripped sponge. Very gently. You cover the area with latex. Now what this does, it just creates a layer of protection so it doesn't break, okay? Because as we said before, wax is very delicate. Very delicate. So just let that dry. So let's get rid of that bin. Okay. Now when you're doing this, you must be careful you don't break the wax shape that you've created. 
Okay. So you've now got a semi semi strong layer that you can work on. So I get my powder shaker, Ben Nye. If I can open it. And we okay so we're gonna use a new technique today which is you're gonna stipple splatter some color so we go to our we go to our bruise as you know we'll go to our Meron pro coloring Can you see me still? Yes? Lovely. Meron Pro Colouring. And I want you to, with your brush, get some colour. And can you see that I'm Monster Makeup? Hello. We are going back to old school here. We are all about wax and latex today. Can you believe wax and latex? As I was saying, this is old school. This is practice tools for sculpting. If you want to become a, a great sculptor like Monster Makeup, you need to learn somewhere. Wax is an inexpensive way of learning to sculpt. So can you see, I am doing this. Prop, this is proper old school. Monster makeup, that's how old I am. This is how I trained, lovey. 20 plus years ago. I won't tell you how many plus, but let's just say 20 plus. Um, as you can see, I am stippling the color by splattering it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, hello, hello, welcome. Today, an old school demonstration on makeup using wax and latex, ladies and gentlemen. Now we get our little brush. This is my 153 from Meron, sorry, from Delium. And I'm going to my um, primary palette by Ben Nye. Okay, primary. So for those of you join today we're going old school and then tomorrow's demo rather than Friday because Friday's bank holiday tomorrow's demo is going to be all about silicon. So now we work on the inside. I you want to go bright first. That's, th that's very bright. You're not going to stay this bright, don't worry. Now I want you to start adding some low lights. Okay, we add some low lights. Charlotte Knight, hello, another fabulous makeup artist. Charlotte, we are going old school today, darling. We are all about wax and latex. So low lights, my darker colour, I want I, we're gonna start looking down the lights going this way, so my low light would be underneath. Da -da -da. 
lovely time, having a lovely time. Okay, can you see? Yeah, lovely. Make sure you do the inside of the wall, okay? The inside of the wall, very important. Because we want to create that, we want to create that illusion. Um, Again, I will welcome everyone that's joined. We're going old school today. I, tomorrow we're doing silicon, but today I wanted to demonstrate how you can create effects still using wax and latex, the things that we used to use 20 plus years ago. Jamie Heath, manager of the two brewers in Clapham, welcome. This is what happens when you go to the two brewers on a Saturday night, look at this. Two Brewers, one of the best cabaret LGBT venues in the UK. Now we're going for my FX Bruce palette. And I'm going for a dark burgundy now. Dark burgundy. To add a little bit more colouring. And I press the colour, I kind of, with the brush, I press that downwards into the, flat into the wound, okay? And notice I just extend, so at the moment it looks like I've got a flap of skin going on over and I've got the depth going, your eyes being drawn in, which is what I wanted. Yeah. Likewise with the nose, I've got like an overhanging. So I want to add a little bit of bruising around the nose where it could be broken. So we're going to go back to my trusty Meron Pro Colouring. Okay, Meron Pro Colouring which you all know now is grease paint, not alcohol, but you can work with them. Of all the basics of the, what would you say your favorite pro? What is my favorite basic technique? Bruising, it's got to be bruising all the time. You will use bruising in almost every injury you create. Um, if you are injury based artist, at some point it's gonna be a bruise. You really need to be shit hot on your bruising. Uh, Paul, hello Paul. We have we are going back to basics today, my darling. We are all about before we do silicon today, we're all about wax and latex. This is all wax and latex. No, no, no prosthetics, no silicon, no gelatin. All about wax and latex. And if you can do this. then I'm happy. Paul, I won't join you on this call, but I will join you another time. It would be lovely to do an Instagram live, only because this is being recorded to send out to colleges. So I would love to do an Instagram live with you at some point if you're game. Just send me a reply, that would be fabulous. Are you up for doing an Instagram live at some point? I 
I love talking to other artists. So we are keeping building. We're going to go um, into the eye. So I'm going to go with my definitely fabulous, fabulous. Well, I will send you a little message and we'll plan something. I'm also going to be doing an Instagram live with Juan Lopez Alvarez from Seventa Makeup Academy about transformation makeup. Because as you all know, I used to be a lady of the night back in the day, many years ago. Um, and Juan and I have a fascination with transformation. Get in there, it's getting there. It's now all about just it's all about painting the the product. I haven't added any blood as you can see, no blood yet. I'm just building on the technique we did the other day, which is just using colour. So we just keep building the keep building the image really just keep building the image now I've now done my pro coloring so I'm now going to go in with my Ben Nye effects palette Um, and I want to really deepen those blue lines. I really want to deepen those lines. So we're going to go deeper with this colour. Yeah. There you go, let's get in there, isn't it? Let's get in there. As I said, you can see bruising, 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 bruising all the way. You can never go wrong with too much bruising as far as I'm concerned. So, we have really gone old school today, people. We have gone old school, wax and latex. Do you like to mix your medium like alcohol and grease? Do you add IP to the... Um, Paul, I sometimes... I, I do. I, I If I'm working with... I, in this case, I'm mixing alcohol and grease. I use IPA to dilute the grease because it gives it the same wash. Um, the only thing I'll say about mixing mediums is IPA... Um, the, 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 the way that IPA breaks grease down is slightly different to the way it breaks the dehydrated colour. So sometimes if you mix alcohol on top of um, grease, it's going to wash the grease away. So you really need to make sure that the grease is really settled with the IPA before putting in the alcohol medium. 
Um, but I mix them all the time. I mix them all the time. So, excellent question, by the way. Excellent question. So now, we're going to go for a little bit of blood to finish up the creation. Now, we will go with my trusty congealed blood from Meron. I'm loving this new... This, Product. This product, I was recently introduced to it, and I absolutely loving it. Because it's got a beautiful consistency and colour. Sorry, so you can see me on the bro here. We go. Now in this case, the blood would would sort of settle at the bottom of the cut, gravity and all that. So not too much, don't overdo it. As you know, I'm not a big believer in just covering everything with blood and hoping for the best. <laughs> okay? Blood should be strategic. The Gloria, lovely Gloria Peñaranda makeup artist has just joined. Gloria, hello. We are going old school. Wax and latex. We're doing silicon tomorrow. But today, old school wax and latex. So, here we are. Now, if you want to make this drip a little bit, which you can, get yourself a little bit of alcohol. Actually, we won't let it drip. I quite like it like that. But what I am going to do is a little line just to close it off. Um, and there we go. And then the effect is fini. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it. Um, old school nearly there old school that's better old school wax and latex oh my god it's sammy sammy makeup artist hello oh no it's not sammy it's charlie well hello charlie i thought it was someone else um we've gone old school today we have uh, uh, tomorrow we're doing silicon Today we have gone back to wax and back to latex. This is yeah, old school. This is how I trained back in the uh, back in the age of the bloody, you know, back when Queen Victoria was still around. This is how we trained, um, and this is what you can still create. So we love wax because wax is a really good way of inexpensive way to start to learn how to sculpt. And um, as I said, today I used Ben Nye Wax from uh, Treasure House of Makeup. Um, you can also get a really good um, wax from Meron. 
um, which I really love as well. I used a mixture of grease paint and alcohol colours to colour up and a little bit of um, congealed blood from Meron. So there you go. Have a lovely, lovely Wednesday. Keep safe, keep happy and I'll see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock, to do a demo using silicon. Take care. Bye bye.